Rob, it's the first chance we've had to sit down and catch up since you turned up in Australia last week. Um, talk us how the move came around and what it feels like to be an Osprey. Uh, basically, I think there's a lot of lot of injuries back row. Uh, I was sitting in the house twiddling my thumbs and uh, training with Kamal and Quinns. And, uh, yeah, Andy, Andy Lloyd phoned me and uh, asked if I was available to come down and help out, so I was more than happy to uh, oblige. A bit of a strange move for somebody with... 130 games for the Scarlets, captain the, the club for a couple of years here. Yeah. A strange move for you. Yeah, very strange indeed. Yeah, never, never thought it'd happen. Um, but you know, times change and uh, and rugby changes, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be to be back involved and uh, certainly with the Ospreys. Had no time to settle in because after two training sessions, you were on the bench on Friday night at the Stadium. First of all. Did you get the right change when you walk into the crash engine or did you walk into the away one? <laughs> it was a bit strange because I've only ever been on a bus so uh, I had to figure out the car park and then uh, I nearly went right instead of left but uh, no, it was a lot nicer on the left. Nice, uh, nicer seat. <laughs> Obviously, first impressions, it was a, for a pre-season game it was very entertaining and it was a bit of an extra and it was uh, the right result for the Ospreys even if preparation is more important than the results at this point. But what were your thoughts of your involvement in the game? Yeah, good. Um, usually... Usually expected a bit of an easier game to start off with to ease the boys in, but we were straight in the deep end uh, with with the Tigers. Um, yeah, like you say, you know, it was, it was obviously wasn't going to be perfect at, at this point in the season, but a lot of good stuff came out of it, and uh, a lot of us, a lot of things to work on uh, moving forward and you know, fine tuning for Zebra start of the season. Now we're out in Waterloo in Belgium, pre-season camp, the game against the national team at the end of the week. Getting the, getting the group together for a week in camp is always good, but particularly for someone like yourself who's new. I need to immerse yourself in the calls and the moves is probably more beneficial than for most. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like you say, having having two days last week before before playing a game was was pretty tough. But uh, you know, we're we're all on site together here. We can uh, we can pick people's brains 24/7 uh, to a point. So um, it de- definitely helps being uh, being submerged and surrounded surrounded by the boys and you know just just get to know each other off the field as well as on it. It does help, of course. There's a lot of boys that you are familiar with either through the world's camp, either through playing against over the years and. There's a few ex scarlets within the environment now as well, so yeah. it's not that unfamiliar surroundings for you. No, it's not. It's not it, it, it was very weird, um, but you know, almost almost like I've been here for been here for ten years as well. You know, with all the boys, uh, definitely helped a lot. And um, but this this week together just uh, takes it to the next level. As the coach, the coach has spoken to you. Obviously, you've got two more preseason games before Zebra starts. Any conversations long term, or is it just the moment, just be a uh, work this month and do what you need to be done? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, that's the way I'm looking at it. There's, uh, don't wanna, don't wanna start looking too far ahead because, uh, as you say, it's only uh, only short term at the moment. So, just happy to help out while the, while the boys are struggling and get back on their feet. But uh, you know, if, uh, if they want me to stay for a bit longer, then I'm I'm happy.